Hi, it's Miss Chris from the Free Library Springfield Township again. Here today to give you some home slime recipes. Things that you might have around the house that you can make some fun and playful things to do. These two things are very similar. One is made out of baby powder. I'm not recommending these brands, but baby powder and hand lotion. And the other one is cornstarch and conditioner. So both of them are very similar. They're gonna be, end product is gonna be very much the same, but they're similar on there. There are one-to-one -one ratio of a baby powder or cornstarch to their liquid. And so the first one I'm gonna start with is the um, baby powder. I already have it in the container. And so I just put some in and then I'm gonna pump in some hand lotion best to work with something like this that you can do with a pump. Put a little bit in and then you're going to start to stir and you can see it'll start to clump up and then once it starts to clump add some more. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Nice thing about this is if you, if it gets too liquidy and it's whoops, you can always add more powder. It's not liquidy enough. You can add more lotion. When it gets to a point that you can kind of pick it up with your hands and you can start to knead it. Still need a little bit more. Nice thing about this is that if you've used something that is around the house that smells good, by the time you're playing with it, it makes your hands smell good as well. Oh, there we go. Now you see, I have made this. This almost looks like a paste. So this now needs more baby powder because that is definitely, woo! And you wanna make sure wherever you're working that it's okay to make a mess. Now I look more like frosting. And you can take and put a little bit of food coloring in this to change its color. Just be careful you don't put too much and that it stains your hands and your clothes. There we go. a little overzealous in my stirring. Nope. See, it sticks to my fingers, so it still needs a little more powder. Like I said, that's the nice thing about this, is that you can easily add a little bit more and a little bit more till you get it to just the right consistency. I've used popsicle sticks here to stir with. You can also use uh, coffee stirrers or um, any kind of thing, stick or something that you have around the house, a solid um, straw or something. Maybe just a touch more. since I had it stuck on my fingers before. It's still gonna stick just a little. There we go. You can work that around to get it to the right consistency so that it's fun to play with, not too tacky, but there you go. And that's with baby powder and hand lotion. 
Now with cornstarch, cornstarch is going to work just about the same, but a little bit different. And with conditioner, it's going to give you the same kind of effect. But again, it's a game of too little, too much just right. But this is making something without glue. I will do one with glue, but it is hard sometimes when we're home to have enough glue to make a slime. But these are a way to give you something to play with, with household items that you might be able to do without having glue. But most everybody should have one or the other of these to make you make something to have to play with. But as you can see, both of these are white, so they're not necessarily as fun being just white. They might want to add a little bit of food coloring to give them a little bit of color. just a touch more. Hmm. Definitely making a mess of my hands today. But if you're not making a mess while you're making slime, what are you doing? And there we go. Cornstarch, because it is a little bit of a thicker consistency, works up a little bit easier than the baby powder, but not everybody has baby powder. More people to have cornstarch, I think. You can always take pieces that you've done on the work surface, gather them up. But take it off my fingers too. There you go, you've got a nice little ball of kind of more like clay than slime, but definitely something fun to play with. Fun on an afternoon when you need something to do. So I hope this is something that you can have some fun with, something that you've got stuff around the house to do. And look for my video on doing slime with glue and look for other things that we're gonna post for other activities to help keep you occupied while you're at home. Be safe, be healthy, and have fun. Bye.